हेलो क्लास ट्वेल्थ इन लास्ट वीडियो आई टॉट यू अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एन एंथर राइट एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट दी लेक्चर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोस्पोर इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड माइक्रोस्पोरोजेनेसिस राइट सो दिस इज अर टूडे टॉपिक सो इन माइक्रोस्पोरोजेनेसिस वी विल स्टडी अबाउट हाउ द माइक्रोस्पोर विच विल बी द फ्यूचर पोलर ग्रेन हाउ दिस माइक्रोस्पोर डेवलप इन साइड द एंथर राइट एंड दिस इज अर टूडे टॉपिक सो इन previous two video uh, structure of an anther and in development of an anther we have discussed many things so that i will repeat uh, very shortly so in structure of an anther i taught you the structure like this remember this is ts of an anther yes right in this ts of an anther these are the four microsporangium right and this is what the connective by this connective the filament connect with the anther you know very well so if you will see the microscopic structure of one area of the anther then you will see all these layers very clearly in, inside the good microscope right so as you know very well in development of an anther i taught you about the outermost layer of an anther is called the epidermis that you can see here inside the epidermis this is the endothecium right inside the endothecium two to six layers of middle layer right and then the tapetum okay the tapetum had the responsibility to provide the nutrition to the inside cell mass which is present inside the microsporangium right what is that cell mass that is actually the sporogenous tissue okay dear now if you will see the sporogenous tissue so you know very well what is tissue the group of cell that means this sporogenous tissue is synthesized by sporogenous cell yes now if you will see the development of microsporangium uh, the development of microspore so that development of microspore takes place by sporogenous cell so you can say very clearly this sporogenous cell is actually the parent mother cell of microspore or you can say about the sporogenous cell is actually the microspore mother cell right so if you want to study it so you have to keep these two point in your mind about the pmc that means the parent mother cells or the primary mother cells right and the mmc that means microspore mother cell so for example we can take one microspore mother cell here that means the sporogenous cell yes so this sporogenous cell is actually diploid by nature okay and this sporogenous cell will divide by a process which is called meiosis right so this meiosis will take place and then this tetrad structure will synthesize if we are talking about the flowering plant so we know very well the angiosperms are only the the flowering plant those bear flowers those develop flowers right so if we are talking about the sporogenous cell so this sporogenous cell found in both type of angiosperm monocotic angiosperm and dicotic angiosperm so if the sporogenous cell will divide so it will divide by meiosis process in both monocotic angiosperm and dicotic angiosperm but there is some difference although this is meiosis takes place into both the monocot and dicot sporogenous cell but in both it having a little bit differences there in the meiosis cell division process what is that difference and how that different type of meiosis takes place into monocot and dicot uh, sporogenous cell will 
synthesis the different kind of tetrad. Okay, how it will take place? For that, you see this video. So here, you can see the meiosis takes place differently into the monocot, which is given in upper side, and the dicot, which is given in lower side. So in monocot flower, the meiosis takes place by successive type. And here you can see in first diagram the uh, nucleus is dividing and in second diagram you can see with the when nucleus divides so after that the cytoplasmic membrane synthesis then again the nucleus is dividing and then after when uh, the nucleus becoming four then again the cytoplasmic uh, separation takes place and you can see tetrad at last the next is downside and here you can see the meiosis takes place in a different manner and uh, in dicot it is called the simultaneous type here you can see in the first diagram the first diagram uh, this uh, nucleus is dividing and then again in second diagram you can see the nucleus is dividing again but there is no cytoplasmic division or membrane is going to synthesize and at last when the nucleus divide into four one nucleus is behind it it is tetrahedral structure in a dicot flower so you can see the three nucleus you can see in front and one is behind it okay so the cytoplasmic separation is going on at the last of the process okay so children here you can see some different type of microspore tetrad a is tetrahedral type b is isobilateral type c is decussiate type d is t shape and e is linear type of tetrad structure of microspore so now welcome back to the video and uh, now you got it how this meiosis process takes place into the uh, monocot and dicot and how it is different there okay and uh, how the tetrad synthesize and how many type of tetrads are there so similarly the meiosis will start in this sporogenous cell after the development and when the meiosis will complete the division will complete there so it will synthesize the tetrad like this now you got it what kind of tetrad is this yes this is isobilateral tetrad right so when this will synthesis so many development will take place inside it it will get the nutrition and after that it will become mature now when tetrad will become mature so the separation will takes place between the cell and these cell will become free and will convert into the microspores these are the freshly formed microspores those separate from this tetrad structure right so microspore synthesis and become separate so you got it now the process is here and you got one information the one sporogenous cell the one sporogenous cells will synthesis the four microspores right means how many cells are present inside the microsporangium how many cells are present in this sporogenous tissue each cell of sporogenous tissue will synthesize four microspores suppose to be inside one microsporangium there are 1000 sporogenous cells so each sporogenous cell will synthesize four microspore so 1000 uh, sporogenous cell will synthesis 4000 microspores right so this is the microspore and this is the story how these microspores synthesize now these microspores will develop inside the microsporangium and here you know very well after synthesizing synthesizing all microspore inside the microsporangium the anther will become mature and will dehydrate after it when the anther will dehydrate 
so it will uh, brush and then the microspores will go out from the anther for the pollinations by the different agencies so now you got how this microspores synthesize right so we will take one summary of it very fastly what happened first of all the tapetum provide nutrition to the sporogenous cell right here you can see it this is the tapetum layer and this tapetum layer is providing the all the important nutrition to the sporogenous cells those are present inside it right then after these sporogenous cell those are diploid by chromosome number so these are actually what the primary mother cells or the microspore mother cells right after maturation when this sporogenous cell will become mature so after maturation these will go for the meiosis cell division that you can see here the meiosis cell division okay and will form the tetrad tetrad is what the cluster of the microspore the group of the microspore means the four microspore will connect with the uh with each other and will synthesis tetrad that you can see here and the different kind of tetrad you have already seen in the video okay so these tetrad uh, the sorry these tetrad having the four cell and all cells are what haploid by nature uh, the chromosome numbers are half in these all this is the speciality of the meiosis cell division that's you know very well okay so these microspores will become haploid okay means the chromosome numbers is half into it right now after complete development the tetra cells become separate and the division uh, and divide into microspores so here you can see the tetra these cells will become separate from it after the maturation and the microspore will become separate from it okay now these all microspores are here inside the microspore uh, microsporangium okay and at last what happened here when anther develop completely it dehydrate right and microspores become pollen grain inside the anther okay now the pollen grains are present here because all microspores develop fully and becoming pollen grain inside it okay so microspores are the primary pollen grain these will become the pollen grain after getting some development more inside it okay so these will present here and when the anther will dehydrate that time what will happen all the microspore uh, will burst and all the all the pollen grain will come out from it okay so th this was the sto story of uh, development of microspore in next video i will teach you about the development of pollen grain okay and the structure of pollen grain thank you very much